Hello friends, my name is Carl Sterling. I am the president and founder of Physio Chains Education and also the creator of the Parkinson's Regeneration Training Program. This four hour workshop is designed for everyone from the person with Parkinson's disease to caregivers, significant others, home health aides, fitness professionals, personal trainers, everyone. I'd like to share a little bit about this workshop with you so that if you're looking into attending one, which I hope you do, you'll have an idea of what to expect. Okay, so we know that Parkinson's disease can be debilitating. However, there is plenty of compelling data to show that exercise is one of the best ways to manage Parkinson's disease syndromes. There are a lot of great programs out there that you can learn about, research, attend certain workshops. There's some great stuff. My goal is to put an edge into this and to bring more to the program, more to the client, more to the person with Parkinson's to help them get the edge. All right, this comes from years of working with people who have Parkinson's disease and also comes from collaborating, meeting with neurologists, Parkinson's disease specialists and brain specialists so I can take what they teach me, what they share with me, apply it with clients, measure results, and see the difference. And because we're seeing the difference, I want to bring this to you. So we're offering this four-hour four program, and in the four hours, I want to tell you what you can expect. Okay, first of all, about 90 minutes to maybe an hour and 45 minutes total within that four hours is a lecture, because there's a lot to understand. We want to understand things like, what is Parkinson's disease? Who gets the disease? What are some of the symptoms, both motor symptoms and non-motor symptoms? Also, how does PD affect a person? For example, how does it affect their strength, movement, stability, mobility, flexibility, cognitive function, posture, and basically overall functionality? And what can people with PD be doing to manage disease symptoms and reduce or eliminate falls. Because that's one of the biggest concerns we have with this population is falls, and we don't want them to fall and get injured. Okay, so we're also gonna be talking, and we invite everyone to these workshops, okay? Um, home health aides, like I mentioned, caregivers. We wanna help them to understand how they can help the person with Parkinson's disease. So we're gonna be learning some really awesome stuff, of course, we're gonna learn through hands-on application, optimal exercises that are gonna help the person with PD to improve their balance, their flexibility, their stability, agility, strength, grip, gait, posture, basically mobility and movement and overall functionality. And one of the things we concentrate a lot on besides the physical hands-on application of learning different things to open them up, thinking big movements, improving posture, improving balance and gait, is we're also thinking about cognitive. And this is a really big area because as the substantia nigra, which is housed inside the basal ganglia, is dying, basically, and that's a movement control center for our body, right? So because there's not as much dopamine being produced and that neurotransmitter dopamine is not getting around as much, has trouble sending signals telling us to move when we want to move, our cerebellum is now being retrained as a movement control center. Well, we want to enhance this. So one of the big areas we do is we, we try to work on cognitive, cognitive, cognitive programming to help train the cerebellum to work better for movement, but also be a multitasking part of the brain. It's primarily designed to do one thing at a time. Okay, so what we do is while we're engaging movement and retraining the cerebellum through certain movements, balance, stability, agility, we're also playing games. We're doing mental things. We're activating the cerebellum while we're moving so that we can train it to be a better multitasker. You know, we take certain elements of thinking. We look at direct recall, spatial orientation. Basically, if we can do the following, if we can 
simultaneously activate proprioceptive awareness along with the vestibular and visual systems while we're doing cognitive, we have a winning combination here to stimulate as deep as possible as we know how to do currently in a session situation, like a personal training or just an exercise situation. So cognitive is huge. We also do quite a bit with barefoot training because we, we have data and science that shows that we wake up the nervous system through barefoot stimulation. Okay, so we help to create better anticipatory responses. We can create better stability. All right, and also do a lot of training uh, muscularly through uh, the outer layer of the muscle called fascia, which is all small nerves. And we want to develop fascial firing so we fire faster to have better stability, movement, mobility. Reduce the risk of falls and injury. So bottom line, folks, is we have a four-hour workshop. It's priced at $69 per person. In the workshop, you get a workbook. You can take notes. It's basically a copy of the slideshow presentation that I do during the workshops. And you get a ton, a list of exercises. A lot of them have pictures there. And there's a video support system after the workshop where you get two months, that's 60 days of online video support so you can refer to all the stuff we're gonna do that's hands-on application. Okay, so we had 90 minutes, hour and 45 minutes of lecture broken up throughout and a lot of movement, a lot of hands-on. So you're gonna to wanna to wear your workout clothes because we're gonna get busy and we're gonna learn some really cool stuff. And you know what's even cooler about this? It's not just Parkinson's people who can benefit from this. It's everybody who can benefit from this workshop. I practice this stuff all the time. My balance has never been better. My mobility has never been better. And I'm healthy and I'm very lucky to be healthy. So it's not, you know, everyone who comes to this, we can all learn, we can all benefit. And there are studies that show that exercise, especially when we're doing cognitive, can help to eliminate or delay the onset of different diseases, Parkinson's, different neurological disorders, because we're firing up that brain. We've got that brain active, mind-body connection, brain-body connection. It's all a win-win, win-win situation. You're gonna walk out with so much information, your head's gonna be spinning, and I can't wait. Can't wait to share it with you. Go to parkinsonsregenerationtraining.com Look for a workshop near you. If you don't find one, inbox me. Carl, that's K-A-R-L, at physiochains.com. You'll see a link on the screen. Shoot me an email. I will come to your city. Thanks for watching, folks. Can't wait to share this information in the live workshop. Have a great day.